We often meet artists around the state who paint to express themselves, and it's often interesting to see how they visualize their subject matter before transferring it to a canvas. I think you'll be amazed at how artist Tracy Betancourt visualizes her images and how she conquers some of day-to-day -day challenges in her life. Here's Ken Will Shower in Clarksville to share her story. Squeeze it on. Okay, then I just work it. Her most recent passion is to paint in her own unique way. I paint with my hands and I absolutely love it. I just started painting about a month ago just to relax me and it really does that. I get lost in the moment. Her name is Tracy Betancourt. And if the name doesn't ring a bell in the world of art today, just wait. Life is really beautiful. And that's what I try to convey, just what I see. And now it's time for my image. I feel like doing leaves or something. For some reason, flowers just stand out the most to me and I end up painting a lot of them. And I think it was that appreciation of the beauty then that I, I try to convey. Because you don't really know what's in front of you until you lose something. It's like I want the colors mixed together, but then I want some standing out and popping. That's what I'm envisioning. Tracy no longer sees her subjects the way most people do. And when she puts them on canvas, it's literally with feeling and touch and visions from years ago. Her hands and fingertips are her eyes today. In 1992, I was diagnosed with an eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's the degeneration of the retina, so the retina is slowly falling apart with the photoreceptors and everything else around it. In some people, it progresses slowly, and in others, it can progress very quickly. In my circumstance, it progressed very quickly. So about 2003, it went in my left eye, and about 2006, it went in my right. So to most folks, her painting is an incredible challenge. But to Tracy, it's simply another set of skills she's developed after her world went dark. I really have nothing in my left eye. In my right eye, it's a pinhole with just light and shadow perception. That's it, a little tiny pinhole. So it's really not much to make out, really. Color ID. Okay, color ID. It's taken courage, strength, lots of support, and state-of-the-art technology to overcome the challenges she faces. I'll just grab my iPhone most of the time and just scan the color against it, the back of it, where the camera would be, and then it would tell me what color it was. And then I would lay everything out in order. Everything's very structured and very organized because it has to be <laughs> in order to find things. And um, I just go from there and I'll start painting. So I'll do my base with acrylics. And then to, to convey the image I want on the canvas, I'll take the puffy paint, it's in the tube, and I'll just make the image, like draw the image. And then I can fill in the colors that I see in my mind, what I want. So everything's conveyed through my mind, really, and by memories. I have a feeling this is close. Is that close? Thank you. Most importantly, Tracy is a single mom. She's raising the loves of her life, daughters Kara and Kayla. Life has really thrown us quite a few curveballs, but um, it's nothing we can't overcome. We can achieve anything. We put our minds to it, and I think my girls know that too. We've come a long way, we have a strong bond, um, we have each other, and that's all that counts. While her artwork is an expression of her senses and a quiet retreat from stress, there's so much more to Tracy Betancourt. Begin with, there's her loving friend and trusted companion, Willa. Well, that should be Wilhelmina. When they said, uh, Tracy, your guide dog is Wilhelmina, I said, Willie who? Because I was like, the long name I have to give commands to, Wilhelmina this, Wilhelmina that. But then after a while, it started settling in. I was able to give her those commands and it just rolled off my tongue. But it's so funny because it, now I call her Willa or I call her Willie Woo just to get her going. And uh, she really likes it. And we've been working as a team ever since. Let's go forward. Good job. I forgot to mention that Tracy's also a full-time student at Austin P in Clarksville. As you would expect, she hopes to teach the visually impaired one day. My heart is in teaching, and I want to be a special education teacher, and I want to teach the blind and visually impaired. That's where my heart is. I just want children with special needs to also know that no matter how hard the challenge is or the obstacle is, we can overcome. And it's all about adversity, and it's all about adapting and overcoming. And to ensure Tracy makes it to all her classes on campus safe and sound, Willa's right by her side. You see, Willa. Hop up, you see. 
she knows all the buildings by word association at Austin P campus. I can say library, she'll take me to the library. I can say UC, she takes me to UC, which is University Center. I say Claxton, I say Browning, Browning Building. It's just amazing what she can do. Let's go. She's not only a guide dog, a service animal, she is also my companion, and she's someone I can count on, and it's unconditional love. Absolute unconditional love. Hello, Tracy. <laughs> Hi, David. How are you? Yeah, hello, Willow. Good. Will is also her guide to the campus gym, where she works out often with her trainer, Tammy. But Tracy takes exercise to another level. It was about a year after she lost her eyesight when she started to compete in fitness championships. For me, walking this stage, it's more of advocacy and proving to myself that I can walk on stage as anyone else, I could just work as, just as hard, but more so for my mind and body, because I may not have my eyes, but I can still educate my mind, and I can still take care of my body, and living a healthy lifestyle, I'm able to move forward. You know, when Tracy was diagnosed with her eye disease, it would have been so easy to just give up. She admits she had no idea what she was going to do with her life. I could have easily said, I'm giving up, I'm going to become a recluse. I'm not going to go out into the world. No one's ever going to see me because I can't see them. I could have easily said that. Mm -mm, I'm a fighter. I'm going to get out there and do it. And I'm going to become a teacher. And I'm going to be the best mom I can be to my girls. And I'm going to do what I need to do. Her fingertips touch a canvas with passion while she creates bright new images for people with vision to enjoy. Meanwhile, Tracy, the mom, artist, educator, fitness competitor, advocate, and loving companion also touches the hearts of everyone around her. I found my solitude in my daughters, and in my fitness, in my painting, and in my education, and in my students. And, um, and that's what keeps me going every day, is that drive to keep on wanting to do something good for others. Without sight, Tracy Betancourt has opened the eyes of her heart and found determination perseverance, and drive for independence. She may only see the world she remembers in her mind, but Tracy's vision and purpose in life are more clear and beautiful than ever.